Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming a full face of Wet n Wild makeup. Um, honestly, this is not the first time I'm filming, filming this. I think I've filmed this. This is going to be my third time, I believe. And it's been a long, long process because, I don't know, I was just having some technical difficulties with the mic I was using. So I'm going to go ahead and get this video done because I'm honestly over it but I really wanted to still film it for you guys and show you the products that I picked up and yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get right into it so this video is not too long for a primer I did get the wet n wild photo focus water drop primer and it does have a very sweet scent to it uh, it's not bad but it's pretty sweet um, and I don't think it stays like it the smell doesn't linger on your face for a long time So I think that's pretty okay with me at least. It's very watery It's a really watery based primer Sorry if you can see the gigantic mountain that's on my forehead. I Don't know it just came literally yesterday out of nowhere so I don't know but I'm just going to apply this everywhere on my face, especially the areas where I get the most oily and I have the most pores, which is on my T-zone. So, while that sinks in, I also did get the Photo Focus Rose 3-in-1 Primer Water. And I do like the scent of this. It is pretty rosy. But it's really nice. It feels really refreshing on the skin. And I just, I really like the smell. It's not very, it's not super strong, but it's not very faint. Um, I don't think it lingers. I don't feel like it lingered on me. So, um, yeah, I really, really like this one. Oh my god, I look like I just ran a marathon or something. Okay. So while that dries, I'm going to go ahead and show you what foundation I got. I got the Photo Focus Foundation in Buff Biscuit. I'm not sure how to say that word, but this is what it looks like. I'm really bad at picking my foundation shades, so I don't think this is my correct shade. Um, just because I do have more of like a yellowy undertones, I think. Well, I'm not really sure, but that's what I think. I don't even know. Alright, and the sponge I'm going to be using to apply my foundation is the Wet n Wild um, Beauty Sponge. This is what it looks like. There is this flat side right here, and then it's like round all the way around here. And I've been using this a lot lately when I do my makeup. So, this is what I'm going to use it, be using to blend out my foundation. And I, So I'm just going to go ahead and apply the foundation on my face. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it that much for now and I'm just gonna go ahead and blend it out all right and now for my concealer I'm gonna be using the photo focus uh, light and light medium beige concealer I think I could have gone a, li a shade lighter with this, but I guess we gotta work with what we have. So, um, I don't really like the applicator for this product just because you have to keep dipping back in to be able to get more product. It's kind of annoying, but I mean, obviously it's not like super horrible if the product is good. So I'm just going to go ahead and blend it out. Thank you. 
Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and set my face with this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Powder. So for this one, I actually did look at the reviews on their website just to make sure that it didn't get flashback because I didn't want to get the product if it did get give flashback because then I wasn't going to use it anymore. So I got this and it's really, really big. pretty big it's like as big as the palm of my hand so I didn't expect it to be this big but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and set my makeup I'm just gonna take my sponge and dab that in there and I'm gonna set under my eyes first because I do get under eye creases because that's just how my eyes are they have really like fine little lines under them and it creases either way so that's why I want to set them first okay so now I think I'm going to go ahead and do my brows um, just because I feel kind of weird without having my brows on so I used to love like eyebrow pencils and then I started using pomades but I did pick up this ultimate brow micro brow pencil um, just to try it out and see how I like it I used to the first time I started using like doing my makeup I used the elf one um, but the, the old I think it's the older one it was really waxy it was really hard to like get any pigment out of it so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and start doing, like, outlining my brows. So because I didn't get a pomade, I'm just going to kind of fill the rest of my brow out with the pencil. I used to go through brow pencils so fast because i just used brow pencils i didn't use pomades or anything else so i used to go through them really fast and doing this now reminds me of that okay i'm just gonna spoolie out the brow okay so now i'm just gonna go ahead and do the other brow off camera and then I'll be right back to do the eyes. Okay, so now for my eyes, I'm going to be using the Naughty Basic Peach Palette from Wet n Wild. And the shade I'm going to be going in with is... Uh, I think I'll go in with the transition color right here. The more like peachy one. And I'm just going to take a kind of fluffy brush put that on the eyes. So now I'm just gonna take the now I'm just gonna take the darker brown that's right here and apply out that on the outer corners of my eyes. I've been loving putting a darker color on the outer corners of my eyes. I don't know why it just feels like it adds a bit more. I don't really do colors like these or shadows like these. Um, but I think it looks pretty, so that's why I've been doing it. So this is what it's looking like right now. Obviously, I'm not blending it, but I'm just going to go ahead and continue doing the eyes, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I finished doing both eyes. I just um, also went ahead and put the darker brown on the outer corner of my eye, and then I did apply this really pretty gold shimmer on the inner third of my eye. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's very pretty very pigmented I just wanted to get that out of the way just so that this video is not too long but yeah that's what I did for the eyes and now I think I'm gonna go ahead and apply blush so this is not the blush I wanted when I first ordered the makeup but this is the mellow wine color icon blush it's a very very pretty 
nonetheless. I mean, this is not the one I really wanted, but it's a very beautiful color either way. And yeah, it's just a very pretty pinky peach color. So I'm just going to take my blush brush that I always use for blush and apply that on my cheeks. I really like how it just adds a little bit of something to your cheeks. It's not too harsh and it's not like too light to the point where you can't see it. It's just like a really nice beautiful shade. And now for highlight, I do have two highlighters that I picked out um, because because I really wanted to try the loose highlighters and I really wanted to try their powder highlighters. I've never, I don't believe I've ever tried a highlighter from Wet n Wild, which is crazy because I know they're pretty. I have, I've heard they're really good and they're affordable, so I don't know why I've never tried them before. So the powder hi highlighter I got was the one in Precious Petals. It's very pretty. It's more of like a pinky gold. It's a bit light for my skin tone, but I don't really care. As long as I like it, then that's what matters, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and get some of that product on my brush. And then I'm going to apply it to my cheek. Oh wow, I don't know if you guys can see it already. But it is very, very pretty. Oh, yes. Oh wow, that's really pretty. And then on the other side, I'm going to use the loose highlighter. Um, this is the one in I'm So Lit. It's also more of like a... Like a pinky light gold. It's very pretty. And I'm really excited to show you guys what it looks like. So they kind of look similar, they both look pretty wet, but this one looks a bit more like, I don't know, like glittery a little bit. They're both really, really pretty. Oh, I love both of them. I love them both, honestly. They're both really good. So if you're going to get either or, I would get both <laughs> because they're really, really nice. I'm just going to go ahead and finish off my eyes. I'm going to do the uh, use the Ultimate Brow Mascara to go ahead and set my brows. And this is what it looks like. And like I said, I've already fil filmed this video, so I've already used pretty much well all of the products. But yeah, I do really like this brow mascara because it obviously adds a bit more color to your brows, but it helps set them, but they don't feel like they have hairspray on them. They don't, they don't feel stiff. So I really like that. Just because I don't like when my brows feel really stiff. Just because I feel like if I move them or if I touch them, they're going to like, I don't know, crumble or something. But this doesn't do that. So I really like this brow mascara. For my lower lash line, I think I'm just going to take my big fluffy brush and whatever's left on it. I'm just going to put that under my lash line. Just to add a little bit of a little bit of something under my eye on my lower lash line and just to help blend out any of the creases that I have. So for mascara, I'm gonna be using the Max Volume Plus mascara. And this is what the wand looks like. So when I first opened this and I saw the wand, I didn't expect it to actually work on my lashes, but I think I spoke too soon when I first filmed the video because this mascara is actually really nice. I just thought that it wouldn't work because the wand is really different to like wands I usually use with mascaras. Usually I use the Butter Than Sex Mascara or the L'Oreal Par Paradise Mascara. So those wands are really different to this one. So that's why I didn't think it was going to work. but. It's actually a really nice mascara. 
Okay, so now that I'm done with my eyes, I'm going to go ahead and move on to my lips. So I did get a lip liner. I've been really loving the Wet n Wild lip liners. This one is in the shade Lay Down the Mauves. I don't know if you guys can see the color. It's a very beautiful mauve color. Um, and I've just been really into doing lip liner recently. I used to not do it at all, but now I've been really loving how it looks. I just feel like it makes my lips look bigger and more defined. So I really like how it looks. So, like, I don't know. i just been, I'm going through a phase, I think. This is what it looks like on the lips. Obviously, it looks a bit darker right now um, than it does on the cap. But I think it's because I applied a lot of it. Um, so, yeah. I actually like how it looks like it's on its own. It looks almost like a matte liquid lipstick. But I am just going to go ahead and add this high shine. I mean, I'm just going to go ahead and add this liquid katsu high shine lipstick on top this one's in the shade chic got real and this is more of like a pinky um like nude i don't usually go for pinky colors but when i first used it i didn't really like how it looked but then the more i like looked at it the more i was like yeah this is a pretty color more like a it almost have like a it almost has like a purpley undertone i know it doesn't really go with the lips but i just really like how it looks and i wanted to show you guys like my little combo that i've been doing i also picked up this uh liquid katsu matte lipstick in the shade give me mocha but obviously i didn't use this one today it's a bit darker um than the one i'm wearing now it's a bit more of like a red undertone but it's really pretty and I will eventually use that. But I'm just going to go ahead and set my face. So the setting spray I'm using today is the Natural Finish Setting Spray by Wet n Wild, of course. And I have used this in the past, like a while ago. And before, I didn't love... Oh, let's move the camera. So before, I did not love the spritzer on it because it was really harsh it sprayed out really like harsh and i didn't li like like it so hopefully this one's better if not then i just i guess i could just have to hold the product further away from my face but yeah i've used this before i feel like this was before i used to like take makeup more serious to like see what actually works for me so i before i don't really know if it did or not so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and just spray my face Okay, so I do think that the further away you um, you have it to your face, the better because I didn't feel like the harshness of the spritzer unless they changed it, but I don't think they did. But yeah, the further away you hold it from your face, the better. And now I'm just going to let this set and then I'll be right back to end the video. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know what I think of the products I used today. So the sponge, obviously I liked. It's a very squishy, very soft, very bouncy. So obviously I like the sponge. For the foundation, I like how it looks today on my skin. Um, and I think it looks kind of nice. I just don't know about the shade. I think the shade I could have obviously picked a better one. But yeah, the shade is fine. The foundation looks good on my skin so far. So I'm not mad about it. The concealer blended out very nicely as well. It gave a pretty good amount of coverage. It's not like the most, most full coverage concealer in the world. But it does it does give a good amount. So I think I'm going to keep using it, obviously. I think also this shade is pretty good on me. I could have maybe gone a, late, uh, a shade lighter. But I think this is good as well. The primer. I'm not sure if, I, if it did much to my skin. I mean, my pores don't look as big as they usually do, so I think it did something for my skin. But obviously, I have to keep using it to see like if it does make a difference or not. The smell is pretty strong. It doesn't linger on your face. It's just 
just I it's just there when you're applying it but then it goes away so yeah I like the primer so far like the consistency is very like watery so I feel like it's hydrating my skin as well the primer water obviously I think I like because I don't know exactly what primer waters do besides help prime your face for makeup but I mean I don't know if there's a way of telling if it actually works so obviously I'm gonna keep using it and hopefully it does make a difference just because I really like the um, primer water for the translucent powder I think I like it it does I did do a good job of setting my makeup for the brow pencil I do like the brow pencil it's very creamy but it's not so creamy to the point where it just kind of melts off your face and it's not too waxy to the point where you get nothing from it I do like it it did a good job of helping me outline my brows and uh, filling them in I like how it has a spoolie as well just because you don't have to keep switching products to get what you need um, so so far it's so good with the brow products um, the mascara or with the brow pencil the mis uh, brow mascara I think it did a, does a good job like my brows don't feel like stiff or anything but they don't feel like they're gonna move throughout the day so I really like the, mas the brow mascara so far as well for the my eyelash mascara um, I do like it and feel like it did do something with my lashes it doesn't feel like I don't feel like it didn't do anything just because usually I don't use wands like this like I said but it did help give a little bit of volume to my lashes and I'm really happy with it for the eyeshadow palette obviously this is pigmented it's blendable it's very pretty I, I love how it looks on my eyes I think my eyes look really pretty I love this look that I've been doing um, I just feel really pretty in it and yeah I like the palette uh, it's affordable it's pigmented it's blendable and it's very really nice for the blush I really love the blush I love the color I actually got even though this was even though this wasn't the one I was gonna I wanted to purchase at first but it's a very beautiful like pinky peach um, blush it gives like a very nice bit of color to your cheeks and I really look like how it looks for the powder highlighter I really love this is on this side I really love how it looks it's blinding it doesn't emphasize my texture it just looks wet and beautiful and I really really like the powder highlighter and then for the loose highlighter which is on this side of my face it looks like I said it looks very very blinding very like wet and it doesn't emphasize any of my texture either so I think either or I would purchase both no matter what just because they're both really really good for my lips I do love the lip liner just because it's a creamy but it's not too creamy and it's not too waxy to the point where it just kind of breaks I do love how it looks on the lips um, it does look a little bit darker uh, than it does on the packaging but I'm okay with that because I love the color of it anyways so yeah the lip liner is something I'm going to be using for a long time because I love the lip liners uh, the high shine lipstick is very pretty obviously like I said I never go for pinky nudes so this is like a different something different to me that I use and I really really like it and for the setting spray I love the setting spray as well I don't, I obviously am going to keep using it to see if I love it. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. My battery is going to die and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.